Hello, my name's Ian and I'm going to demonstrate some basic Tai Chi exercises which you will all be able to carry out from the comfort of your own home, I hope. Follow as best you can, concentrate on trying to be relaxed, comfortable and enjoy the movements. There's nothing difficult uh, and I will explain things as we go through. So to begin we're just going to try and gently turn the waist left and right. Feel the transfer of weight ever so slightly moving from left to right and try to allow the arms and hands to just follow. Start to turn the waist a little less, allow the arms and hands to slow down naturally and eventually come back to a stop by your sides. Now we'll do some warm up exercises first and we're going to exercise the major joints of the body. So wrists first. Link the fingers together and allow the wrists to hang, the elbows to hang down in front of you. Try to keep the shoulders relaxed and try to make the movements as smooth and continuous as you can with the wrists. Change direction to go the opposite way. Okay, so now we're going to push the hands gently away from the body. Feel the stretch in the back. And then we're going to draw circles with the arms and the hands. Focus on the elbows. Elbows in, elbows out. Elbows in, elbows out. If you can and if it's comfortable, just gently bend the knees. So as the arms and the hands reach the bottom, Gently bend the knees and straighten as the arms and the hands come up. Again, if it's comfortable, take the arms and the hands over the head this time. Keep bending the knees. Okay, and allow the arms and the hands to gently settle again. Shoulders next. Rest the fingers just on the area around the shoulder blades and we're going to use the elbows to draw a circle. Again, check that the shoulders are relaxed and not hunched up. And if you want to bend the knees, you can do. So we're gently loosening and relaxing the shoulders. And we're also very, very gently stretching the chest and stretching the back. So as the elbows come together, we stretch the back. And as the elbows separate, we stretch the chest as well. And again, just focus on very soft, smooth, continuous circles with the elbows. So this time as we come down, we're going to keep the fingers attached to the body, all the way down to the centre and back up the sides. Keep the fingers in touch with the body all the way down and all the way up. And again, Focus on the stretch in the chest and now the stretch in the back. 
Try to feel the whole body moving. Bend in the knees. And back down. Okay, if you need to stand a little further apart for this one, move the feet apart. And this time we're going to use the waist to draw a circle. You'll feel the transfer of weight as it moves from heel to heel, toe to toe. Don't make the movement too big. But focus on the waist and the hips and feel as the hip joints gently manipulate and rotate. Very good for the waist, the hips and the lower back, gently loosening and relaxing everything. Opposite direction. Now come back to the centre and we're going to gently soften the knees and just bounce up and down on the spot, focusing on the knee joints and hopefully feeling them relax and soften. And come back up. Shake the legs. So lastly we do the ankles, the feet and the toes. So we'll keep the toes fixed on the ground and then we're going to use the heel to rotate the foot around the toes. So focus on the smooth movement of rotating the foot. And again we're just trying to gently relax and soften all the muscles, tendons and related joints in the ankles and the feet. Change feet. Marvellous. Okay. So we'll do three exercises now, um, all of which are taken from the Chen form of Tai Chi um, and all of which focus on the upper body um, and the movement of the upper body but particularly the chest and the respiratory system. Most important thing is to be relaxed, comfortable and just follow the movements as best you can. So number one, wrists crossed, hands and fingers pointing upwards. This is called punch draping over body. So we're going to go down, push the elbows out, lift the body, cross the wrists and back down. So again we're stretching the chest and we're stretching the back. Knees gently bend as the arms and the hands come down. Try to feel the whole body moving at the same time. So the whole body stretches up, the whole body sinks down. I'll turn to the side so you can see from the side. So it's important to gently push the, out the chest and then retract the chest. So the chest is out and the chest is back.
And again, try to feel the movement through the whole body, all the way from the head, down through the torso, the waist, the legs, down to the feet. So we'll do three more. And this time, if you want to, you can breathe in as the arms open and breathe out as they come together. So breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. So that's number one. Number two. <clears throat> number two is called pushing through the clouds. It's a little bit like breaststroke in the swimming pool. And circle down, round, back up and out. And again, we're focusing on the chest, the back and the upper body. Knees are bending gently. Whole body is moving down, whole body is moving back up. Once more, I'll turn to the side. So the same thing applies. We're gently pushing the chest out and we feel the stretch in the chest now. And then the chest comes back and we feel the stretch in the back. As the hands come in, the little fingers are very close to the body. So there's a twist in the hands as we come up. So again, three more. <clears throat> Same thing applies with this one in terms of the breathing. So we're breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Okay, so the third one we'll do is actually focusing, focusing on the same area of the body, but also this is very good for the neck and the spine. So hands, palms upwards, facing you. And this time we're going to go out, all the way up, over, and come back down. Allow the eyes and the head to follow the movement of the hands. So we're looking down, and as the hands and the arms raise, the head raises, and then we follow the hands all the way back down through the center of the body. We imagine the whole body settles and relaxes as we draw the hands back down through the center. And as I mentioned, as you take the arms and the hands up, feel the stretch in the neck and the spine. Spine and neck moving gently forwards and backwards, very softly. And as before, we can breathe in as the arms and the hands go up, and then we breathe out very slowly and continuously as the hands come back down through the center. So we're breathing in, and breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. And one more. In and out. Okay, so we will do a complete form to finish. Uh, it's 18 moves which lead from one to the next. I will say change when we need to change and it's six repetitions of each part of the form. So standing comfortably to begin with, feet somewhere around a shoulder width apart. Feel the connection between the feet and the ground. Feel like the weight of the body sinks down to the feet and you're stable and firm in the way you're standing. 
Allow the arms and the hands to settle by your sides. Relax the chest, the back, the shoulders, the neck and the head. Feel the whole body calm, balanced, relaxed. Breathing is soft, calm and continuous. Ready. And begin. Change. Stretching the chest and the back again with this one. Change. Any exercise where we're holding the arms and the hands above the head is excellent for the cardio system and makes the heart work just that little bit harder. Change. Again, follow the movement of the arms and the hands with the eyes. So gently look down and then look up. Change. Feel the twist in the waist and try to move the arms and the hands through the air as smoothly as you can. Change. Rowing a boat, stretch the chest, stretch the back, stretch the chest, stretch the back. Gently bend the knees and feel like the whole body is moving. Feel the weight change in the feet. Change. Throwing a ball. Lift the back heel ever so slightly. Feel the twist in the waist. And again, very soft, smooth movements. Change. Again, focusing on the waist. Lifting the heel ever so slightly. Change. Twisting the waist and pushing the hands. Change. Cloud hands. Imagine you're carrying a large ball. You get to each side and turn the ball. Marvellous for the circulation of the blood, helps improve the flow of the blood around the body. Again, gently twisting the waist. Change. Right foot forward. Gently bend the knee. And arms and hands up and over the head. Change. Lift the toes of the front foot and the heel of the back foot. Focus on your balance 
and focus on the smooth movement of the hands. Change. Continue to rock forwards and backwards on the feet. And we're opening the arms and closing the arms. Open the arms, close the arms. Change. Again, gentle twist in the waist. Loosely clenched fists and smooth punches. Change. Bend the knees, extend the whole body. And imagine you're a huge bird with very soft, lazy, flapping wings. Feel the relaxation through the whole body. Feel the movement through the whole body. Change. Three circles. Change direction. Change. Bouncing a ball. Focus on your balance. If you struggle to lift the leg and the knee, just lift the heel. But still focus on the balance. Change. So now try to feel everything calm, relaxed and balanced. Breathe in as the hands come up and breathe out as we allow the hands to settle back down again. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. In and out. So allow the arms and the hands to settle back by your sides. Feel the whole body calm, relaxed, balanced. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed the session. And uh, if you do wish to do more, you could play it twice. Thank you very much. <laughs>